Hello my lovely Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor. Welcome back to my channel, Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's pick a card is a channeled message from your person. So we have the three piles, one, two and three, and the timestamps are in the description box below my lovelies. So for those of you who chose pile number one, let's have a look and see what your channeled message is from your person. You can of course get your own personal channeled message from your person. You can get a personal reading also. Um, also you can check out my Get Them Back playlist if you want to get somebody back in your life and listen to the success stories there. I am a personal mentor and can help you get your person back. So what channeled message do we have? I'm going to put out some cards so bear with me here. Okay, so what they're saying here, your person, is that um, they owe you an apology. They want to give you more than they have been because of a third party situation. Maybe a person. I do feel it is a person rather than a situation for this group. So if this isn't resonating, then please try another pile. Um, because I am getting a person as the other person, okay, male or female. Um, so your person knows that they haven't been very fair in the way that they've been treating you, um, but there is going to be a favourable outcome to this situation where they will be giving you more. They are showing me a number seven, but they are also saying that... Um, Again, they want to be happy with you. They are not happy with the person they are with. They are rowing, okay? They are having disagreements and arguments. They want to free themselves from this situation in order to make a commitment to you. There needs to, they've seen the light. They've seen the light and that they're going to take that leap of faith to okay the other person is too needy too clingy and although your person has left you out in the cold whether you know in contact or no contact okay they are now appreciating your worth that you are pure it's almost like um, I'm seeing deception with this third party. Not that this third party has necessarily cheated on them. I mean that they've been um, uh, do, 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 do. what's the right word? Um, been false. Okay, so they haven't had your person's best interest at heart. They've been doing it from a selfish point of view, if that makes sense. So they've been needy, they've been um, codependent, if you like, relying on your person to give them something for their own benefit. And your person has seen the light, okay, and has seen that you are the pure one. Your heart is pure, not the person that they're with. Um, so they are know that they owe you an apology. Some of them are saying, I know I've been a complete ass about this. OK, um, but I want to beg for your forgiveness. I want my happiness with you. I'm not putting up with this shit from this other person anymore. All we do is row. I've seen the light. I'm taking that leap of faith. I'm freeing myself from this situation in order to make a commitment to you. 
I'm just listening for anything else. My happiness is with you. We're meant to be together and I see that now. Okay, let's just bring in some of these. Yeah, I do nothing but think about you. I do nothing but think about you. You're constantly in my mind. Um, if you're in no contact, then I feel that your person has picked up their phone or tried to, you know, has put messages in, but has cancelled it because they're, they've not been sure of the reaction they're going to get from you. Um, or else they wanted to reach out to you because they're having such a miserable time where they are. Um, but know that they had nothing to offer you at the time. Well, I feel things that are going to change now. Your person has seen the light. They keep saying, you know, things have got to be more balanced. They're giving you the attention from now on. They've been giving you breadcrumbs or nothing, and now they know and appreciate your worth. Um, yeah, they're standing up for themselves now. Okay, they're taking charge here. And like this King of Pentacles here with his arms crossed, he's not taking any more shit from this. Um, third party no longer playing games I heard no, I'm not going to play these games anymore um, yeah I just want a happy home like I said before I just want this happy home and to be happy um, so we do have the skeletons on here uh, the little pumpkins um, so it may be for some of you see changes by you know Halloween uh, let's keep going with these. I want me to pull out some more on these. This person's driving me bats, okay? They're driving me mad and um, I'm not happy. I'm not putting up with it. Your person is adamant and they're not going to put up with it anymore. Um, yeah, again, they've become wise to this, okay? They've become wise. I want me to do one more. So a lot of autumn and winter cards here. Cards here. So um, I do feel that over the summer months, you know, June, July, August, your person has definitely seen what their person is like, who they're currently with, um, not putting up with it anymore. So there's going to be changes for you either from now till February or, um, you know, something particular about Halloween here, as we do have the Halloween card. Yeah, they just want to be happy. Okay, and they're not dancing to this other person's tune anymore. Yeah, false person. What did I say? And in this card where I was seeing the false person, look, they've both got the red dress on. This false person is clinging to them, but they're ignoring them and giving you in this beautiful, pure white dress with this heart around your neck, you the attention, not this third party, you know, who is false. And your person has been blindfolded to this, but not anymore. They've seen this, this dress if you like, see where I'm coming from here. Spirit are drawing me to those. Um, this false person, yep, definitely. Not putting up with it. Um, yep, so they're going a journey towards you. It's been a long journey as well. They're saying, you know, this has been a long journey because they thought that the third party was the one that they should devote their time to and it has they've seen the light okay they've seen the light they've seen this person for who they are um remember i had the number seven as well so bear that in mind they're drawing me back to that as well um yeah endings it's dead okay where they are with this false person is dead So what do they want to say to you, my lovelies, in the Romance Angels? So what message do you have using these? Um, yeah, you will be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Your person wants to come forward and tell you how they really feel or they will start opening up to you if you are in contact Um Also, they're drawing me to this. Look how your person is turning away from the, the needy um, 
controlling third party who is like begging them still and they're turning away. I'm not listening to you anymore. I don't want to listen to you anymore. Um, and this green as well. They're showing me the green as jealousy of your person. Needy, clingy, horrible, horrible. Yeah, the passion is with you. They just want to sweep you off their feet. You know, for all the heartache that you've been through, you have waited, you've known in your heart, you've known that this love was pure and your person has now seen the light. Justice is going to be done as justice was the first card out. They want the commitment with you. They are freeing themselves, death, from all these rows. Okay, the end of it all. Okay, so like I say, for some of you, we've got these pumpkins for Halloween, but this happy poem together, okay? Um, but like I say, we did have some winter cards there as well. One more from these. Uh, yeah, the third party. This for me is just overall, I don't care what's on the card, okay? It is just for me, the third party. The thing that is standing in your way is going to be gone. Okay, your person is going to be making the effort towards you. So if you are in no contact, and I mean no contact for weeks, months or years, then let's have a look at what they want to say to you through here. Um, it's been emotional. I've cried for you to miss you. Yes, your person does miss you. A new beginning. Can we start again? Definitely. Um, let's try. They do want this new beginning. Definitely. With you. So. They want me to draw one of these. Uh, healing energy surrounds you and the situation. Yeah. And they want me to draw one of these. Uh, a fiery climax approaches. Certainly does. Certainly does. Like I say, your person is ending wherever they are in order to be with you. Yeah, look at what came out then. The full new starts, new beginnings, taking that leap of faith, like I said at the beginning. Okay, beautiful. So, par number one, your channeled message. Okay, um, again, you can get your own personal channeled message. Um, your person's seen the light, basically. False person that they're with. Ta-da! Is not the... Ooh, look, there you go. Fell on the floor. Gone. History. Okay, so endings. Okay, sick of the rows. Seeing the person for who they are. Not having it anymore. You've been patiently waiting. You've held the love in your heart. Your person is coming back to you with an apology. Begging for your forgiveness. Begging for you in order for you to, to start anew. I'll leave this with you. Love and light. For my lovelies who chose part number two, let's have a look what your channeled message is. You can, of course, get your own personal reading, a channeled message from your person. You can get a bigger reading. You can also get personal mentoring if you want your person back. Or go and watch my check, uh, Get Them Back playlist with the success stories in. So, dear spirit guys and angels, what message do you have? For the viewer who chose power number two from their person, please. What channeled message do you have? Now, I'm going to put out nine cards. Okay, so bear with me here. You might want to fast forward a little bit till I put them out.
Okay, this is coming out like number one. <laughs> Different deck, but still got this Queen of Pentacles, which for me is always a third party person. Okay, but I feel this is slightly different um, because this could be a mother as well. Okay, so your person is saying here that um, they've realised their happiness lies with you. They want a commitment with you. You need to commit to you. You have the key to their heart. Nobody else does. They have been going over what you two have had in the past. But whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, whether it is a third party woman or um, man as well, I suppose. But also, um, or parents, okay, they are miserable with this person and they are wanting to get away. They just wanted me to show you those. Um, it's all about money with them and control. They might seem like they're really nice to everybody else, but behind closed doors, they are not. They are quite controlling. Um, <laughs> your person is saying, I can't get away quick enough. They've turned into a monster. OK, that's how they're viewing this person as a monster, whether it's their, you know, controlling mother or um, person that they're with. They want to grow old with you. They. Um, for some of you, for some of you where you've been in no communication for a, a while, they are wondering how you've moved on with your life, what you're doing in your life. Um, I should have had the kick up the backside a long time ago to have done something. I didn't. I apolog apologise. Um, I miss you. I'm hearing. I miss you. You're my new start, my new beginning. I'm hoping that the connection that I still feel, you still feel. It's been a long road. So I'd feel that you two in this pile might have been in no communication for quite a while if you you know have been in no communication um for those of you in communication then your person is just saying you know they know that this that you're the person they're meant to be with um they want to grow old with you and um you know are going to start talking more for those of you in no communication i just want to what about those in no communication uh yeah events uh, coming quickly okay so maybe over the next eight weeks eight days um, yeah they're going to reveal something to you so so just keep following your intuition okay um, I'm just looking to see if I'm getting anything else from them you've been on my mind non-stop Yeah, I'm building a bridge back to our love, the love that we have, not with this person. So let me just bring in some of these, my lovelies, carry this on. But like I say, you've got the key to their heart. They know that. They've been reminiscing about the times that you've had. You're the one that makes them happy. They are not happy in a family situation or with whoever they're with, male or female. Um, they want to get away as quick as possible. You're per that person the third party okay has become a monster very controlling very materialistic um they're hoping the connection is still there with you they want to grow old with you they are if you have been in no contact then things are going to change eight days or eight weeks um yeah they're not putting up with this gremlin in their life anymore this behavior from like i say they become a monster you need to check your makeup love um right okay uh, yeah they are shunning this person and although you've been blocked this person had stepped in the way and blocked their emotions from you or contact 
but not anymore. Your person has, a bit like group one, seen the light, okay? They've seen the light. They've seen this very underhand negative behaviour from this third party. Yeah, because again, you've been in their thoughts all the time. But didn't I say that somewhere down here? They thought about you or something. Sometimes when I'm channeling, I don't remember what I say, but um, they want a new beginning with you. This baby in the, the cot is a new birth. Okay, new start with you. They want me to carry on with these, actually. They haven't finished, sorry. Sorry. Um, all of these are winter cards. So, you know, expect changes over... Um, for some of you between, like I say, the eight days eight weeks um september october but for you know definitely by february i think that you should be with your person or things definitely change for the better between you um yeah there's uh by spring by spring okay uh, uh no okay 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 what they're saying is you've been waiting a long time. You've been waiting a long time. Um, and didn't I say that here about the path or something when they were saying something there? So I feel that if you've been in no contact, you've been waiting a long time. Even if you've been in contact, you've not been seeing any movement. Well, now you're going to. I'm springing into action. OK, thank you. That's why they were saying about the spring. I'm springing into action. I will be springing into action. OK, thank you. So our love can blossom yet yeah, because I'm freeing myself. Right. OK, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm freeing myself from the situation I'm in so that I, you know, I'm springing into action and this is fast movement. That's all oh, right. OK, thank you. That's why they're saying they're springing. OK, they're springing into action. They're taking action. Woohoo. We like a good action packed movie um, so that our love can blossom. OK, so that our love can blossom. Let me see what they got here. Yeah, house. Okay, to for us to set up home together, for us to be in under one roof. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sudden wealth because I feel like I've hit the jackpot when I'm with you. Okay, thank you. Right, let's see what they want to say on the romance angels. Romance angels. From pile number two's person. Um, codependency, yeah, from this other person. This other person has been like draining them, I'm just hearing. Become codependent and just like, you there, I want money to do this. I want this, I want that, you know, and they've turned into a complete nightmare. Um, because the chemistry is with you, the strong magnetic attraction here. One more. Um, so just allow this situation to unfold naturally because it will, okay? It will unfold. Um, you deserve love, okay? You're the one that's lovable. You deserve the, your person's love. So don't try and sit there yourself thinking... You know, how's this going to happen? When's this going to happen? Just let it unfold naturally because your person has seen the light, basically. Let's just bring in for no contact, okay? Whether it's been weeks, months or years. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. I hurt you. You gave me everything. I'm sorry. Definitely. Right, so in one of these um, so for you just carry on being yourself that's what your person loves about you is that you are genuine you're yourself authentic okay and that is the basis of your personal power whereas this other person is very false and spring 
<laughs> so for some of you, it might be during the spring months as well, um, which for me is in the UK is um, March, April, May. OK, so but I feel they're just showing me that, look, we're going to spring into action like they said before. Because of your authentic self, because you're the true one, you are the you're the chosen one. Right. Um, so, yeah, what do they need to release? What do you need to release and what do they need to release? And a very snowy winter here again. So, you know, I would be very surprised and expect powerful change, definitely. Um, I would be very surprised if you and your person, of course, it's not a personal reading, okay? Um, but for the majority of you in this group, that something is going to happen over the winter months, um, probably more November, December, uh, no, December, January, February, and um, where this person is released from your person's life and they are going to make a commitment with you. I know we've got the eight here. I mean, they might start um, getting in touch with you to see if you're still available, if you still want them. Um, but it's going to be lots of you picking par number two, so take it as it resonates. Some of you, it's going to be eight days, eight weeks. Um, I feel it's more eight weeks. For others of you, it's going to be over the November, December, January, and for others, it might well go up into the spring, okay? Um, but we do have all this snow, so a lot of it is going to be the winter time, especially with these three winter cards here. So, oh, one of these. Yeah, major changes. The end of the old, beginning of the new, my lovelies. I will leave this with you, love and light. For my lovelies who chose part number three, let's have a look at what the channeled message is from your person. So, if you want your own personal channeled message or a bigger reading, please check the description box below. I also do personal mentoring to help you get back with your person. And also I do have the Get Them Back playlist and success stories in there as well. So number three channel testing i'm going to put out nine cards so bear with me while i do this and i will start your channeled message from your person Okay, so sort of got the gist of it when I was um, putting them out. So let's hone in a bit more. Okay, nothing is going to come between us anymore, I'm hearing. Okay, whatever situation or whoever is coming between us, um, you know, if there's a third party person or situation, is not going to dim our light anymore, I heard. I've had enough of this BS. I am not prepared to keep you in the dark any longer. You are my light. My passion is with you and I am going to be with you. I have, I realise I've been selfish and put myself first, but I'm no longer going to do that. Okay, thank you. Um, there's been definitely somebody who has been interfering here stirring the pot here acting like a weasel and your person has realized 
and they are walking away from this because you are the one who's been loyal to them. Um, even if you're in no contact, they know that you were the one who was more loyal than where they are. And their passion is with you. And I feel, you know, they do want to make a commitment to you. I'm seeing a ring, okay? Um, and the Ten of Pentacles, definitely. You're, so, um, you're my happiness, I'm hearing. You're my happiness. What else are we getting through? I'm prepared to move heaven and earth to get to you, I'm hearing. Um, I was stubborn. I was foolish. Selfish, like I say, for some of them. Um, they want your forgiveness. But their passion is definitely with you. Okay, let's move on to some of these. I want me to move on. Um, I think there have been some money issues as well. They're drawing me back to this money. For some of them, there was money issues, um, financial obligations or issues. But overall, it's just their security. Okay, yeah, my fun. Um, you're my fun times. Okay, you're my fun time. You're what makes me happy. And a lot of sexual energy with that as well came through there. Ooh. Yeah, there's been a lot of obstacles in the way, um, but not for much longer, okay? Not for much longer. Yeah, end of major changes. Yeah, they're definitely cutting things out of their life that are no longer serving them. So I feel over um, autumn and or fall, as some countries call it, uh, between now, September, October, November, December, January, February. Okay, up until February, there's going to be these changes. You're my future. I heard then, you're my future. Again, like I say, you can get your own channeled message. Um, although they're pulling me this and normally I say you know their doubts and fears are holding them back no they're saying no more doubts and fears okay and again this is a winter card um, so you know they're not going to let anything hold them back this time yeah they've kept you in the dark for too long or shielded you as well for some of you okay I do get that as that sometimes and I did hear that again um, no more. No, these negative people around them. Remember I said something about a weasel, other people sticking their nose in or whatever, stirring the pot. Okay, no. Okay, for some of them, they're going to act ignorant. they got a plan up their sleeves so that the other people who are stirring the shitty pot aren't going to become suspicious. And then your person is making this plan and then they're going to strike. Oh, I like it. I like it. Sneaky. Slowly, slowly catching monkey. Um, yeah, they're hiding something. <laughs> they are hiding something. They're working on a plan. To. Oh, this is like a movie. Oh, like this one. They're working on a plan so that they are going to strike and then that the people who have been holding them back or stirring the pot are going to wonder what hit them, I'm hearing. Yeah, because you are the person they want to be with. Okay, beautiful. Now, we do have, um, again, this mixture of, we've got three autumn cards and four winter cards. So I do feel it is going to be over the next six months, hopefully sooner for some of you, but... Um, you know, again, you can get your own personal reading. So let's pull in some of these. Um, yeah, they hold you in high honour. You're the person that they value, okay? They respect you, they value you. Um, so they don't really want you to judge them um 
but they're also for some of them where they are married or whatever okay then they got it this is showing the separation symbolically that they would have to separate from whoever they are with for some of you i don't feel this group is as much as um a third party situation as groups one and two i feel that this is more other people interfering um again courthouse so um take it as it resonates there Justice will be done, they're saying. Justice will be done. Don't judge me. Justice will be done. I hold you in high honour, okay? There may be a few more obstacles to go, but your person is definitely walking away from where they are. You're the one that's been loyal to them. That's where their passion lies is with you and their ten of pentacles, their happy ending is with you, if you like. So let's look at some romance angels. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yes, your person loves you. Um, and calling in your soulmate. Some of you may have been doing your affirmations, visualizations, um, you know, manifesting your person in because they've heard you. It's working. Carry on. Okay, definitely. And yeah, beautiful. Your love life is ascending to a higher level, okay, of commitments. So stay optimistic, okay? Positive thinking will bring you, and faith will bring you the romance. So if you are in no communication for weeks, months, or years, let's see what these cards say, what they have to say to you on these. Um, it's been emotional. I've cried for you to miss you. I will pull another one because we had that for pile number one as well. Um, a new beginning. Can we start again? <laughs> that both of those came out for pile number one. And they have been shuffled because they didn't come out for pile number two. So your person definitely wants a new beginning with you. So let me just pull a couple more cards. Um, you've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. And they're telling me like this calling in soulmate. If you've been manifesting this, you know, if you've been one of my viewers who have or subscribers who've been following the Get Them Back playlist, my tea with Sophia, the, you know, all the other information I've given you, you've been affirming and that you've got the power. Keep on with this. OK, you feel that you're walking this tightrope because you're not seeing any changes yet. But believe me, my lovelies, your new beginning and new start is coming. OK, your love life is going to go to a higher level of commitment because your person is putting endings and walking away from where they are. So carry on doing it. OK, don't give up. Uh, let me just pull in one of these. Um, surrender to the divine. Yeah, just surrender to this. OK, surrender. The universe has got your back on this. OK, they have your back. The how and the when, don't worry about it. Just keep doing your affirmations, calling them in, being positive because it's working. Well done. Yeah, magician, what did I say? You have been manifesting this, okay? Your person, I feel, has been positively thinking about you as well. So now instead of pulling apart from each other because of negativity, you have called in your soulmate with your... Prayers, affirmations and visualizations. You have, you know, been using your power as the magician to create this and you have surrendered to the divine. OK, you know that they're yours in your heart. So you haven't given up on this. And that's why it was safe to to love. You opened your heart to receive the highest energy of all. Like I said in my other videos, you know, open your heart, raise your energy. And instead of repelling them, you will attract them. They are coming. OK, carry on being the powerful creator of your reality, my lovelies. I will leave this with you. Love and light.